we start singing and dancing. We should wake up the animals of MKIDS anyway. They are so excited to come and talk to you. So keep an eye out here for the meter that has to go up. And if it reaches the top, the alarm goes off. And how do we do that, you ask? With movement, and you are going to help. So let's begin. Jog with me. Oh no, the meter isn't going up fast enough. You will have to jog faster. Now, jump and turn with me. Jump and turn. Jump and turn. That will help to get the meter up. Jump and turn. See, it went up. Now, stand still. Swing your arms as wide in a circle as you can. Slowly, don't hit your friend. Slowly. Faster, faster, super speed. Now jump on one leg. Come on guys, you can do it. Almost there. Now jump as high as you can. Again. One more time. Great, I knew you could do it. Now you are ready to start singing and dancing. And I believe the animals of Kids has woken up and ready to come and talk to you. Thank you guys. We will sing, sing, sing and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout. It's time! Already? Time for what? Time to get together! To do what? Klaus, anyone who meets you would think you'd just woken up. It's time to get together to worship, meet Jesus, read the Bible, encourage each other and to learn! Wow! I don't like schools, so I'll just be on my way. No, Klaus, that's not exactly what we mean. Wait, wait, wait. Let's ask Gray to explain. Come, let's call him. Gray! Hello, my animal friends. What can I help you with? You know I'm not deaf. I think even the seagulls in Cape Town heard you calling me. Ah, uh, Gray, uh, we want to, we want you to help explain to Klaus why it's important to come together as a Christian family. Hmm, come together, what a wonderful gift. So many good things happen when we come together. Have you told him that we come together to worship God? Yes, yes, yes. Have you told him that we come together to meet Jesus? Yes. And how about that we read the Bible together and help each other to understand it? Ah, uh, yes, that's a big one. And when we come together, we encourage each other. Yes, great. They told me all of that, but the next thing is not my favorite thing to do. 
I don't like to go to school to learn. Oh, my dear little giraffe, learning together about Jesus and the life he wants to give us is a way more exciting and important than learning the alphabet or maths. When we come together, I learn from you and you learn from me and we learn from Jesus. We begin to understand more of what it means to be a Christian. We learn how much fun it can be to do life with Jesus and we learn how to talk to him when life is difficult. Think about the 12 disciples of Jesus. Uh, de, 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 what, what? The 12 disciples. M-Kids friends, do you know what disciples are? Yes, people who follow Jesus and want to become like him. But wait, that's what we're talking about today. Let's first listen to today's scripture. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there, and a great number of the people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem, and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured, and the people all tried to touch him, because power was coming from him and healing them all. Hi friends, I hope you are well. Are you ready to listen? Well then, let's get going. Can you say the word disciples? Do you remember what Grace said disciples are? Yes, disciples are people that follow Jesus. Did you know Jesus had 12 disciples that followed him? They lived with Jesus for three years. They helped Jesus and they watched Jesus. They learned from Jesus. They learned how he talked to people. They learned how he helped people and they learned so much more. Sure, it wasn't always easy, but it was the most wonderful way to learn. Remember, Jesus knew that if they learned from him and they learned together, they would be able to do everything that he wanted them to do. They would do well because Jesus would show them how to do things. This small group of men became like a little family that watched Jesus, listened to Jesus, and followed Jesus. One way the disciples learned from Jesus was by listening. Can you show what you use to listen? Yes, your ears. So you too can listen and learn. Another way people learned from Jesus was by watching him. What do you use to look at things? Yes, your eyes. By watching how things are done, we can also learn. The disciples often ask questions and even said some silly things at times. They made mistakes and they didn't always do everything right. Jesus asked them questions and taught them some easy and some difficult things. Sometimes they understood immediately and other times it took hard work and time for them to get what he was saying. In this way, they learned from Jesus and from each other. And they grew wiser and closer to Jesus and each other. We can do this too. We can learn from Jesus and from each other. You see, the wonderful thing is that each of our relationships with Jesus is so unique and special that it isn't exactly like anyone else's. That means if you bring what you've learned from Jesus 
and I bring what I've learned about Jesus, we can learn even more. Learning together helps us to understand more and to see more of who Jesus is. So I wonder, do you see why it's important to learn together? We help each other grow. We can meet at any kids, even online if we can come to church. We can meet for small groups. We can even meet as family and friends at home. There are so many ways we can come together. Remember, people need people, and God gave us to each other to help us live life in a way that makes God's heart happy. Let's do it. Are you ready to come together to learn? I hope you are. We'll see you next week. Hello, M Kids. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you that you are with us every day and that we can talk to you. Amen. Bye bye, M Kids. Thank you.